Hi guys, it's Thursday afternoon, it's nearly 2.14 in the afternoon and uh, I've not done a lot yet today, I've been sitting here actually most of the day. Um, yesterday I started work on that bike for my brother, um, found some wheels inner tubes and tyres up. Uh, when I checked on it last night when I locked all my other bikes up the front tyre had gone totally flat but the back one was still holding air. I've not been down yet today to check it so I have no idea if the rear tyre has gone flat as well but uh, at the moment I've got to put a new front cab um, brake cable on uh, was it the brake cable, the puncture, and the bottom bracket bearings because they're they're not quite shot, but there isn't a lot of life left in them. Um, it's weird because there's no wobble in the crank, but um, it's not half making some funky noises when you pedal it. So I'm gonna have to pull all that apart, and I'll. It could just need re-greasing, I don't know. But I actually think I'm just going to go ahead and replace them anyway. Um, I think my grill's going to be heated up, so... Oh. so quicker if I had a clip rather than the screw. Oh, pardon. He's asleep. On my dirty laundry of all places. Right, let me just go up here for a minute. I'm getting a bit on the peckish side. Yep, we've been heating up for five minutes. That's good enough. Give off Fair bit of heat back there. Right. Um, stick a couple more on, I think. I'm not putting anything else with it, by the way. On the count of, all I've got is chips in the freezer, and I don't really want to put chips with it. Alright. Go in there. Crank the clock all the way around to 20 minutes. Shove that in there. Scratch my lug hole, because I've got an itch. been doing the um, why I like videos lately. Um, I've got another two of those to go up. Don't know when I'll upload them. There's no hurry for those videos, is there? Well, actually, there's no hurry for any video, but <laughs> I haven't done a vlog for a bit, so I thought I'd do one. I think all I've got to do is go and grab some um, blum, 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 blum. Coke. I might get some chicken nuggets as well to have later. Right. I don't actually think I want to put any more crap in that bin liner. Okay. Let 
that soak. Alright. Oh, I didn't realise I had two of them. The Belkin, oh, Netgear one, sorry. I don't know why I keep wanting to call them Belkin. Belkin is shit. As I said before, I've had three of their grey ones that are about that long. And they've all been shit. Never worked properly either. Right, pick that out of the way. I listed these hard drive caddies on eBay. They might sell, they might not, who knows. They've got seven days and I might relist them if they don't sell. It's worth a shot for at least a you know, a couple of rounds on eBay, isn't it? If they don't sell, then I can just try something else. I'll just throw them in the bin or something. Or try and find a laptop that they will fit. A spares or repairs. Because uh, I'm actually in the mood to fix up a laptop. Actually, last time I said that, I went out looking for a laptop to buy spares or repairs, and I ended up buying an old one on Windows 3.1. <laughs> which only cost me five pounds so I can't complain then I've just remembered I've got to clean my tongs because they're on the floor I'm not turning sausages by hand because it's bloody hot I'm sort of, well, it's shaded out by the shed now, so I could go and do some more work to my brother's bike. Or, I'm going to a bit of a sort out in the bedroom. So I've got a printer in there that can be stacked up the corner out of the way and whatnot. So, I don't know, I'm just getting a bit peckish. Toast for breakfast is alright, but it never fills me. I'm always hungry like a couple of hours later. I do love these George grills. That's my second one actually. I used to have a smaller one, but the um, heating element went on that one. Well, it didn't actually go pop, it just stopped getting as hot as it should have been. Or it wasn't getting as hot as it should have been getting, so... Right, I've got some crap to go and stick out on the landing. Because um, I've got a bike out on the landing. I don't want Victory to see it there, because I'm not supposed to put them there. <laughs> it's been there for a week or more, but if they do one of their random estate check so I can get into trouble for having it there so I think what I'll do I'll uh, just get in here and I'll clean up this is all dirty laundry but I'll clean all this up there's a pot under there that's got to go back outside as well my shorts are falling down perhaps I should do the little um little um stringy things up uh, I'll do all that after I've had a bite to eat though. Right. I could do some old bike wheels to put some of these tyres on because then I could take them down the dump and throw them in the scrap bin because I'll take them that way. They won't take the tyres like that without charging. Uh, so I've got to find a way to get rid of them poxy bike tyres somehow. I didn't have something sharp enough to cut them into bits. I'm not going to snuck them in a bin bag. But the only problem is if I try and stick a tire like that in a bin bag, it's going to show exactly what it is and they won't take the bin. For obvious reasons. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of stuck with a bunch of tires at the minute. Uh, I don't know how to get rid of them. Stay down there now. Right. 
I'm going to turn the camera off. Uh, I haven't checked my emails. I should have someone come and look at that lady's bike tomorrow. Um, because I do need a bit of cash. And then that just means I've got to uh, work on that computer for Catch Custom Trikes to <laughs> earn a bike that I'll no longer have. <laughs> It uh, needs must when the devil drives, as they say. Um, <sighs> Bloody hell, you yeah, I said, blah. I don't know what I'm yawning for, I sleep well at night. Yeah, anyway. One emoji. So I hit the wrong button. Um, the reason I'm actually changing the front brake cable on that red bike I'm doing for my brother is because of one of these. The original one was broken. This end bit had broken, so I figured as the cable was a little bit on the short side as well and a bit rusty, I'll just replace the whole thing. <clears throat> it's not got to look perfect. It's only got to serve my brother getting from home to the train station, that is it, and back again, so. I think Mum's theory is... You know, if it looks rough, no one's going to want to nick it. I have got to find a lock for it as well. I've got to find a half decent lock up. Perhaps a cable and a padlock. I've got lots of padlocks. And I've got chain. I said cable, didn't I? <laughs> hey, and I still haven't turned the camera off. That's how much I like to ramble. Maybe because, you know, I spend so much time sitting here on my own that I don't really get to chat to anyone apart from a camera. It's such a good life, isn't it? The only thing I get to talk to is a bloody camera. <laughs> You're my best friends! Nah. Problem is, most of my friends, apart from one down the road, um, which I think we should have to start meeting up a bit more. He did say that last time we um, spoke in town. But most of my friends, well, what few I did have, and still have, have either gone their separate ways, you know, with families and whatnot, work. <clears throat> Anywho, I'm going to shut the camera down now and I will talk to you all later. So, it's Friday, and I've decided to bring this bike up here and uh, get this bottom bracket apart. So, the first thing we need to do is get the ratchet on here. Around the other way might be easier. Well, that ain't good because that was loose already. these on the side and to do the same the other side just take the dust cover off right. I've got bike frame downstairs I'm gonna take the bottom bracket bearings out of because if my brother's going to use this bike to go to and from the train station there's always a risk it's going to get nicked so I don't want to go 
put money into this if I don't have to, just in case. Uh, I thought I had all the tools out that I needed, but I'll just use the adjustable, that's the easiest option. With a screw, oh it will! It's a 15mm usually, but I can't be bothered to go and find it in my tray, so I just thought just, I'll just use the adjustable wrench. Also called a crescent wrench in America. I've never heard these called a crescent wrench here. But apparently crescent wrench, well, I'll try again, crescent wrench is a, um, a brand of wrench or adjustable wrench. It's a bit like we have um, mole grips. I commonly call these mole grips because, again, that's a brand of them. One of the main brands. Uh, this has got made in Japan on them. I don't know if these are actual mole grips. No. But in America, I've seen them commonly called vice grips. Any guesses on whether the uh, right side will come off any easier? Two flat tyres, so two bloody punctures to fix. Not happy. Let's take some steel wool to that and clean that off. stupid thing is the plastic cap unscrewed from this and now I can't actually get this to thread I think I might know why, I think I might have to do a bit of cleaning up thought this torch was getting a bit dim. It needed new batteries. <laughs> uh, ah. Right, I've got some chunks of plastic in the way. So hopefully if I can just flick that out of the way. Hopefully that's just gone to got any crap like that. What have I done with the extractor now or something? Hopefully. Almost like that's a totally different thread. That's what it's like. Right. Well, I do have another trick up my sleeve. I don't know if it's going to work. Because the trick I've got is uh, a little bit damaged, but we'll see. Tools keep falling through and landing in the bottom here. That's uh, not there. T-shirt. It is. Try this. I will at some point invest in some better ones. You know the ones with the 
three prongs on. They're meant to be. Um, they're meant to extract uh, flywheels and things. Well, that is if I can get this one to hook on, of course. Some of them you can get the um, hooks under here and uh, really get that to hook on, but I don't. I don't think that's going to hook on enough where I've got it. Well, uh, no. Um, well, the bottom line is that's got to come off. Or hammer there, but that's not going to have enough weight in it. That I don't really want to use a claw hammer because uh, that's plastic. I'm going to break the plastic. What about my other extractor? See if this one threads in. It's worth a shot, isn't it? Going on. Uh, cool. It's going in tight. screw it in and perhaps loosen it. No, it's a short answer to that. Will it screw in any further? That actually feels like it. I think we might have got it, guys. Get off here, you bastard. Come on, it's the easy part, getting them off us the bitch. There we go. <laughs> Whew. I certainly worked up a sweat. Right. Let's see if I can get my extractor back. The pain I find is usually trying to get your, your tool to screw into here. t-shirt here that'll do as a sweat rag. Right, next job, get the lock ring off. We need, well, you can use the prop tool if it'll work. <laughs> Let's have a 
have a look. Yep, there we go. That's the lock ring off. Now, I don't have the proper tool for that, unfortunately. So I've got to hope I can get an adjustable on there and turn it that way. Really dry and horrible in there. Uh, this is going to be a fight as well. I don't know if I'm going to actually get that off. either which means I might have to go get some yeah I think that's what I'm gonna have to do is go and get some WD-40 I need a can anyway so uh, I might as well go and get it I'll give that a whirl the only problem is if I can't get this off that frames are right off to uh, put everything on another frame. Which I can do, I've got another frame, that's not a problem. But for now, we... <sighs> flip that up the right way. But uh, this is why I've sort of stopped and not done the front brake or the tyres yet, because I thought. If I can't fix that bottom bracket, then I'd have wasted my time doing the other work. Um, the gears were already working, I just had to adjust the rear derailleur. Um, and the rear brake was already working, so... I was trying to think. I don't know if QD or... Or, um, Roy's is going to be my best bet for WD-40. So all these other 
lubricant sprays out there like WD-40, but the only ones I've ever seen in town is WD-40. And that's always been good stuff for me, so... I can't say what other brands are like, because I've never used them. Right. Like I said, I need a can of WD-40, so I'm going to go and get some. I might actually go downstairs and... Uh, um, or take my crank extractor tools downstairs and see if I can get the um, one off the bike or the bike frame in the shed and uh, okay I'm back with WD-40 got a nice big can of it should keep me going for a little while now I'm just going to lay this on its side because I want it to run in to the threads we want to give that good soaking Sweat. Right. Provided I can get that one off, that's what I'm going to put in it. I'm going to put a new axle in it as well. And another cup. So long as this one will come off. So I'm going to have to leave that for an hour or so just to soak in. I'm going to leave it sitting that way up so it runs all the way in. Um, and uh, we'll come back to it. Though, I might have to go downstairs to grab a couple of bits. I have like a large flathead screwdriver. I don't think I've got the one I want up here. Anyway, we'll leave that to soak. Ooh, I'm a bit out of breath. I just had this downstairs and brought it back up. Because uh, I should have just gone straight downstairs and grabbed one of my pipe wrenches. Because I tried the old hammer and chisel technique, that wasn't loosening it. But as soon as I got this on here, it's unscrewing fine now. So. Andy one, bike one. Actually no, bike nil. <laughs> I've got several pairs of these, plus I've got a, a very large heavy pair, which I've got a specific use for. Got it to go. It's um, actually unscrewing pretty easy now. I don't know if these are actually shot or if they're just. Oh no, they're, sh Ooh. <laughs> they're shot. This side isn't, but they're not far off. I'll just show you these. Um, well, <laughs> you can see in my hand that some of them have fell through. <laughs> Another one on the floor. <laughs> yes, these were them. Um, cats custom trikes, so there's your problem. Another one on the floor. <laughs> then ball bearings are meant to be in this, and they've all just dropped straight out. So, I'm going to throw that straight in the bin. Not going to trust that cup either. Um... I was just thinking, I don't know if I've got any um, actual rags up here that I can... Nuts. Uh, T-shirts full of friggin' holes anyway, so I might as well just use it as a rag. Been meaning to do that with uh, 
many of my old shirts anyway because there's a lot of them I've got bloody holes in. So I'm just going to get in here and just give that a clean. Like so. And uh, there's a bit of cleaning I want to do to this axle. Uh, oh, grease. What kind of grease still in here or is it back in the cupboard? I can't remember, but uh, I am going to re-grease those. I did have some steel wool somewhere and uh, I'll just go and walk about again. Oh, no, that's right, it's downstairs in the shed. Grease. Short answer is it in the cupboard? No, <laughs> it isn't. Is it still down here? Yes, it is. There we go. Right. Yeah, I might be able to clean that axle up minus uh, the steel wool. It would have just been easier. Only some gunk around the axle piece, that's all. I just want to get off. And I'll just toss the bearings right across the room. So that's what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> supposed to be nice in a cage, you know. Not falling to pieces. Right. I was going to say, I don't know which way around it goes now, but... Uh, even at these ends, they're both the same length anyway, so I don't suppose it really matters. These do go on a, same, on a certain way though. They've got to go with this flat edge to the middle. Uh. Get off. Looks like a lid stuck on the grease, I can't get it off. <laughs> Come on. I'm solid. I've got a pot of grease open here anyway, so I'll just uh, use this. <laughs> Lovely grease. Well, it is. Because it makes your bearings go around look nicely. Slot that back into the frame like mm. there's one thing I am going to check. <laughs> uh, I can find it. The old axle in the bin but I can't find it in the bin so I may not have. But I just want to check <laughs> that this one's actually the same length. Uh, but like I said I can't actually find it. What I am going to do is get this one greased up. I'm gonna pour some grease in here. already some grease on here but a lot of it has dried up. I did take it off quite an old bike. And there we go, they're all greased up and ready to go. Let me just grab a torch.
it is definitely not there. So the question is, where did I lay it? Um, fuck it. Can't be asked to piss around. Didn't lay it up here actually, did I? Oh well, I'm just going to go for it. If I have to take it all apart again to get the crank and everything to work, and so be it. Oh, that feels much, much, much better, that do. Right. Oops. Put the lock ring back on. I'm getting in the way of my own light. play in there but I can adjust all that once I've got it all together. That's not going to be a problem. Me sweating like an absolute pig is going to be a problem though. Ooh. Right. Let me stick all this back together now. I don't know what might be easy. Actually, yeah, I can stick that one down. Stick the other one all the way down as well. So they're both in the lowest gear. Put that around, said lowest gear. I think we might get some rain this evening. Thunderstorms have been forecast. But we haven't had any yet. Mil. I should have got it started. No, it didn't. <laughs> you get two types. You get the bolt type that hold the crank on, and you get what this has got. The uh, nut type and the nuts can be a little more fiddly to get on. on. I think. I'm not sure we're on good and tight. Put the cap back in this side. I only had the one cap. I might have another one, the same as that one. I'm going to have to look. Whack this one on. And, uh, God, bloody hell, the water's actually dripping off me now. Ooh. All right. It's just this side. Like I said, they're a bit... Let's try it this way again. Put the nut on the socket first. Yeah, hey, it worked this time. But it doesn't matter if it's the nut type or the bolt type, they're um, usually they're all 14 mil. You do get on some of the more um, expensive types of bikes, you do get an Allen screw type, which is an 8 mil. Loosen that off. Screw that up until I don't feel any play. There we go. Now sometimes you can get what they call a settling in, so I could go and do this. I've now rattle loose a little bit. 
and I'll do that a few times, sometimes, not all the time, just sometimes. I think we're good for now, I'll just get my wrench on there and uh, tighten the lock ring up. You can use a flathead screwdriver on these, but you risk damaging the um, ring itself. But uh, a flathead screwdriver and hammer does work. Right. That's that problem fixed. I'm just going to crank the gears up, make sure we um, go into all gears. Complete derpy moment there. I'm wondering why the front gears aren't changing. It's because the rear ones are changing. The front gear shift is on the other side, isn't it? Ugh. Right. Should we try this again? A wee bit, bit slack there, I'll have to adjust that, but adjusting the gears is something I can do outside. Wheel bearings are okay. They're alright at the moment. No, it's just going to be easier to adjust the gears this way up anyway. Oh yeah, that's alright. What I'm going to do, might as well do that while I've got the camera on. Makes a change from a computer video, doesn't it? Right, what am I going to need? That's a 9mm nut on there, so... I'll do the trick. Oh, a screwdriver. I'm just going to make sure this adjuster is screwed all the way in on here. So, if I have to make any cable adjustment, I can. What I'm going to do is loosen the cable clamp off, like so, it's only got to be loosened off, and adjust this bottom screw here, it's got to be screwed in. Somewhere there. Try that, and I'm just going to tighten the cable clamp down again. If I was sensible, I'd put this in my bike stand. In fact, if I knew where the clamp bit for it was, if I was down here, life a little bit easier in theory right Move that way. Well, that's got it to go into second gear we're not quite there though make an adjustment here as well. If I can. Cool. There we go. It's a bit too close to the pole. The pedal was uh, catching. Right. I think I've still got. Ah, that's why far too much slack in that cable. 
I obviously didn't pull up tight enough when um, I said that was that 999 on there. E no. That is the 8mm. Don't want the 8mm. All my bloody plots have got walk about. I can't find any of them. I'll try this again, shall we? Loosen off the cable clamp. Wee! Twang! And actually, what I'm going to do is get a different screwdriver because that one's a bit small. Let's do it with a flat head instead. Ease. sitting there. Let's try that. Right. Now I'm gonna pull on that nice and tight. Good job I'm a bit ambidextrous with my tools, isn't it? I don't think it would bother my brother too much, but I'm not going to give him a bike that's sort of half done, you know? Bloody there. It really is nearly there. thinking what I might have to do is put the other axle back if I can actually find it but I won't do that on camera because oh, I've just put you through all that uh, but I need to remember where I put the stupid ah never mind right ah that might be the problem as well these are different lengths, that's what I want to check. So, what I'm going to do off camera 
whack this one on. And there's nothing really wrong with the axle apart from the bearings and stuff. Right, I'll do that and I'll be back later. Done. Didn't use the original axle in the end, I'll just turn the other one that was in there around the other way because if you're not careful, and it's an easy mistake to make, one of these ends is shorter than the other. You want to put the short end through first so it comes out on the right hand side. If you don't, then your crank is too far away from the frame and it won't go into your top gear. But, I have rectified that issue. It's what I like about um, these cranks, once you've taken them off, they're usually pretty easy to get off again. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the, yeah. Come straight into first gear, fine. Third gear, rather. So, the only other job I've got to do is fit a cable to the front here. Uh, and I do believe I have one actually out there. That'll do, that'll do, I want the noodle, don't I? Noodle and a bit of rubber. I'll get the bit of rubber in a minute. Prepared as ever, aren't I? I could do with the light this side, really. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Although I may have to just shut the camera off again and go and get my sharp wire cutters, because I don't have them up here. Uh, I don't actually think I have a sharp pair up here, anyway. I know the ones that I like to use are actually downstairs. Let's go get in there. Get in there, you son of a bitch. You're still not in there properly, are you? There we go. It is now. I'm not pissing around with punches tonight, though I'll do those tomorrow. And then uh, I can take this to Mum's with me on Sunday. Will I need my cutters or will I be able to thread that through here? Now it's going to be an absolute pain to really my cutters. Am I break for a bite to eat anyway? the only repair I actually needed to do apart from add the wheels because uh, it came with none so I actually think the original bit of outer is downstairs as well brake blocks aren't quite lined up but I can do that again oh oh I might have to take that one off there and grease that one so that one's not springing Rear one's working fine. Mm. I just feel no, I didn't. Well, I felt a little piece of frayed wire. Alright. I'll return after I've had a bite to eat. Hi guys. Well, I've uh about as much as I want to get done on the bike done. 
That's a weird noise outside. It's not raining. It might have been just a car on the wet roads. It has been raining. No thunder. It was supposed to be thundery showers uh, forecast for the region, but uh, none this way yet. Apparently lower stuffed way, where one of my cousins are. Um, they've had it, which is south. Uh, yeah, it'd be south from here. The south end of Norfolk. Although, technically, those... Well, Lowestoft is actually in Suffolk, but yeah. Uh, so I've got it out of its stand, so I can actually move in here now. I'm going to put a couple of light brackets on this. The reason being, if my mum or my brother wants to just whiz round the corner to the gas station, I don't know, to get chocky bars, some milk, whatever, and it's dark, they'll have the lights there, particularly in winter, to use it safely at night. And the same if my brother is um, still needing it to get to and from the train station. If he goes down that route, he may not, so I may end up keeping this and uh, just selling it. <laughs> I, mean, I actually haven't got a use for it. I don't know what it feels like to ride, I haven't ridden it yet. Uh, but I've done the front brake, the gears are all working, the rear brake's working. Mechanically it's working, I think the rear brake I might just adjust the spring tension a little bit on one of those brake levers. I can't remember which one it is. Left one. The left one needs a bit of a tweak, but apart from that... I've even gone and put some reflectors on, so if anything, it'll be reflective, which is better than absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, I might actually stick a quick release in the seat post, post bolt here instead of the bolt. Uh, it's a reflex MTB. Yeah, if. Uh, If doesn't want to use it, that's fine. I'll just bring the damn thing home and, uh, like I said, I'll make use of it here, probably. It's no good to pull a trailer with out front. Um, I really should do a video on the hitch. Actually, I might bring the hitch up tomorrow and do a video on that alone. Because um, I'm always asked, you know... Why couldn't I like put the hitch on this bike? Well, I have to sit on the floor. I could explain that, but it'd be easier to show you, I think. As you can see with this style of frame, it's got the long slots for the wheel dropouts. These are called your dropouts. Um, and the hitch for my trailer out front bolts through this. And then just for the extra support, there's a chain that goes around the seat post and back down the other side. So it stops it from, uh, you know, sinking down. Um, so the problem with this sort of dropout is, because you can't crank these wheels down tight enough, well, it isn't that you can crank them down tight, but because these wheel nuts are designed to grip the frame, the one that side, with the metal plate bolted against the frame, isn't enough and the wheel will just twist in the frame so this tire ends up rubbing against the frame here and you've just got to keep stopping undo your wheel nuts straighten your wheel up do it all up again and then hope you can get as far as you can without it doing it again I can put special washers on first which have got like teeth to grip into this but it's a lot of messing around plus when you take your wheel nuts off to put your hitch on it's awkward because your wheel is moving as well so uh, I prefer to put it on bikes which have got the straight drop in you know just a little hole just like your front forks but on the rear because um, that is so much easier easier rather and saves a lot of hassle I'm going to do 
I'm going to stick some batteries in these lights and stick. Oh dear, I've got some heartburn. <laughs> and stick a couple of uh, just ordinary LEDs on. It's been this dark since since about four o'clock. Uh, the reason I've got you off the um, tripod now is because uh, I had to um, dump that on the thing. What was after? Could put that on the bathroom sink. Run out of hand wash, so I haven't got another bottle today. A lot of people seem to be amazed when I say, you know, that pack of toilet paper is going to last me two months. It's like, really? Well, that's been on there a week, that one. I ain't kidding. I bought this when I got paid last Thursday, and it's still there. And why? There we go. It's the same with this. This will last me a good couple of months as well. My camera's not liking this light, is it? But uh, I only use that, you know, when I use the toilet, so it's something to wash my hands with. I'm the only one that live here, so it's not like, uh, it's not like there's like four people using it, it's just me. And what did I turn this light off? <laughs> I have no idea, I don't even remember turning it off. Jesus, is my memory getting that bad now? Actually, walking around, I can't feel heartburn as much. That one was shad. Tell you what, since I cut out drinking and eating things heavy in lactose, I don't actually uh, get heartburn as much. Thankfully. Right. Um, tub of nuts on the floor. Bolts, rather. I can go back in the cupboard. No, this stuff is bloody expensive. <laughs> Five pounds just for that can. 450 millimetres. Millilitres? Millimetres? Millilitres rather, not millimetres. Although it does say new bigger can and it does come with, you know, a proper nozzle. You've got the straw or just ordinary spray if you just fold it down. Which is so much better, they used to have that straw separate, you used to have to poke the straw in the end of the cap, but uh, they always got lost and they never stayed in the end of the cap. So, I don't actually mind paying the fiver for that because it does last quite a while. It's not bad stuff, it did get that cap off, didn't it? Once that had soaked in. So, like I said, I see a lot of Americans don't seem to like WD-40 as much. But I've not seen any other alternatives, not in my town anyway. Unless I've just been looking in the wrong places. Which is uh, quite possible. Some hexagon keys. Keep going in here and think, where are my five mil keys gone? Out and about. <laughs> uh, that one. No, wrong one. Okay, that one. Got another one on here somewhere. Got tools to put away. Let me find somewhere to hang this one. I can't believe they nicked this. I have granted many years ago, you know, in my younger days, mind you, when I was probably about their age, I'd have done the same thing. But you know, I'm now 33. I've grown up. I'm wiser. I think. <laughs> well, that's I suppose me being wiser is a matter of opinion. <laughs> In the bin. Right. I was looking for them. I went all the way downstairs for a sharp pair of wire cutters, and they're here. I marked them with the black tape. Because some of these I've got are blunt, and some of them are sharp, so... I taped the ones up that were sharp and left the ones that were blunt untaped. Oh, I don't know if I really need to bother with this because Nemo's not really an outdoor cat, but 
I can get him microchipped for ten pound. Because it is a legal requirement for dogs. And you can chip it for free. This is only for Victory Housing um, tenants though. But it'll cost me ten, just ten pounds to get Nemo chipped. But like I said, he's he's an indoor cat, and the only time he's ever gone outside is when he's fallen out the bloody window. How he survived all them falls, I don't know. Just a bloody lucky cat, I think. Bloody hell. Right. I keep getting lib them fucking crap through the letterbox. Three. Three pieces of Liberal Democrat things today alone through the letterbox. I can see another bit of it on my recycle bin there. I've got nothing. Actually, no, that's a lie. <laughs> it's because I've got nothing against Liberal Democrats. Um, they're not my favourite. But uh, I don't hate them. Not like I do the Tories anyway. But I'm rambling, so I'm gonna shut this down so I can get this video edited did, 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 did. edited up. Sounded a bit like a um motorbike engine, didn't I? Edited did, 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 did. Anyway, I'm gonna get this edited together and uh, get those lights on the bike. My left eye is going off in some weird direction again. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you hated the crap out of it. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.